Hello, you have a call at no expense to you from Jody Arias. Call will be recorded and subject to monitoring at any time. Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey, how are you? Oh, well, how are you? I'm doing all right. Not too bad. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask if I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, yeah. So I'm sorry we had trouble connecting. I couldn't. I don't think your number was all the way in the system, but we're good now. So. Yeah, yeah. We tend we tend to find things out the hard way. I see. <laughs> you could, what, say that again. I said we tend to find things out the hard way. <laughs> yeah, of course. The way it goes, always. So, so I, 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 anyway, what are you doing? Nothing. I was just before you called. I was about to be on my way to the grocery store. I'm cooking uh, fried chicken, uh, stew chicken, rice, and gravy, and probably pick up a vegetable when I get to the store. That sounds good. We had chicken fajitas here tonight. Oh wow! They were so good. Yeah, <laughs> really good. Chicken fajita. Wow. I haven't had a chicken fajita in so long. Yeah, it was a big old pile of like caramelized onions and some bell peppers. And like all the work. Oh wow. So, so you finally ate dinner yeah. tonight. Usually you don't go eat dinner. So you finally ate dinner. Yeah, yeah. Well on on the weekends they give us a hot dinner, but on the weekdays we get like sandwiches. Nothing very good. Yeah. Oh, okay, so some people have written me about the video. So did you release it? Yeah, I released it on Tuesday. Um I got a pretty uh -huh. pretty a pretty good response. A lot of hate. A lot a lot of hate. Um Oh yeah. Haters are gonna hate. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think me and you are probably the most hated man and woman on on earth right now. Honestly. It's all good. If this is what it's like to be hated, keep hating. <laughs> I've got so much love coming in my direction. I can't even respond to it all. Yeah, but so um uh the Phoenix New Times they wrote a, wrote a nice article. <clears throat> they, they they had a little oh, they? yeah they had a little shade in there, but it wasn't as much as. As I thought that they was going to do. Um, the case was pretty yeah. neutral. Um, Susku Daily News wrote an article that was pretty cool. I heard, I just heard about that. I just spoke to my grandmother and I heard she said that. Mm -hmm. I forgot about the video. She's like, you were in the paper up here. I'm like, what is there possibly to report right now? Like, there's <laughs> nothing going on. And she said, this video. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that was cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. That was exciting. And yeah. the Philadelphia Metro did a, a piece on me as well, which is back home. So that oh, was good. cool. I was excited That's about good. that. But I, I want to tell you about the video. I want to tell you. Since yeah, you can't see, me, I want to tell you about it. So how it, start, it. How it starts, um, Maria De La Rosa is sitting in like a garden, and she opens up the video, and she says, my name is Maria De La Rosa. Um, I was Jody Arias mitigation specialist, and uh, the uh, what did she say? The the goal of this video is to bring awareness to PTSD and domestic violence. Enjoy the presentation, and then it's just me in like a dark room watching the TV, like watching your trial and stuff. And then rapping the lyrics, and then as the chorus goes, um, there are different women going back and forth with different signs. Some saying. Um, I'm a survivor of domestic violence. I am PTSD. I'm stronger than there. Just different signs, just to you know, bring awareness. Yeah. You know. Um, wow. So, and then also what I did on yesterday, I went and opened up. What do you call it? Went and registered to start a nonprofit. You know, I think we're gonna oh, call uh, it. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, I think, yeah, yesterday. No, was that? No, it was Friday. So today is Sunday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. So we went and opened up a, uh, to start a nonprofit called Real Entertainment Justice Against Domestic Violence. Real Entertainment what? Real Entertainment Justice Against Domestic Violence. Wow, you gotta send me some information on that. Yeah, so uh, I just need to, uh, to know, we're filling out the paperwork now. This is a probably, it looks like it's a pretty lengthy process to start a, a non profit. Yeah, so, it's a little bit complicated, but it's all very systematized, so I think, you know, if you follow all the steps, you'll get it set up in no time. Yeah, yeah, so what I want to do is kind of just have like different events and maybe feed, go like to women's shelters and like feed the people down there. Or, or just different little, like, little events to kind of, like, you know, raise money and things for, you know, domestic violence victims, you know, just trying right. to get back on their feet. I think it's really, really important. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. If I could please ask. Absolutely, absolutely. I definitely, 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 definitely will. Um, but yeah. I think this uh, next coming week, I'm going to 
still still pretty much be promoting the video. Um, I got a, uh, a radio interview with this guy named King Jordan, and it's February the 3rd. I don't know why I scheduled so far out. Uh, he actually interviewed Kurt and Ermy. Um, so, I think. Is that local radio? I don't think it's local radio. Some guy, he was on the internet. And I was like, well, I, need, I should reach out to him and send him the press release. And I said to Tom. I wonder if I, because I have a radio here, so I wonder if it comes in locally. No, I think it's internet radio. I don't think it's live radio. Okay. Uh, okay. Which, which channels, which stations do you get on the radio that you have? Um, pretty much all the Phoenix stations. I can't, I can't seem to get any AM stations to get all FM right now. Oh. Um, yeah, just like all the standard ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Pretty much everything. It comes through out wherever Goodyear, I guess Goodyear picks up most of the same stations that Phoenix does, because they seem to be all Phoenix based. What, uh, what, what TV stations do you get? I get, um, I get Spanish Channel, it's Univision, well, I'm not saying it right, but, <laughs> <laughs> and I get, um, Freeform, which is formerly ABC Family, I get ABC, CBS, um, let's see, PBS, um, let's see what else, Fox, BET, yes, CNN, um, TNT, USA, Lifetime, A&E, and, &E, and oh, BYU, and also I get a, there's a Catholic station and a Protestant station that comes in. Oh, okay. But I'll, I'll, there's a few on digital too. Like that's just the cable aspect. There's a few I can switch over to digital and get them. I'm not really sure what. Those. I don't really go for those very much. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so I was thinking like, what if I can get it on, get the video on one of those kind of stations that they already play in. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. I would love to see it. But I'll need to know ahead of time when it airs so I can, you know. Yeah. So that's what I want to try to try to see if I can work out. You know, because the song, yeah. it doesn't have any cussing in it or anything, so I don't right. see why they would have. And then it's to raise awareness for domestic violence and PTSD, so I don't, I don't see why they would, why they would, you know, fuss or... Yeah, that's uh, the main focus, that's what's important. I really want to see it, it'd be awesome. Yeah. I've noticed, like, like a lot of the, I've been mean, getting, like, some kind of brushback from people, um, like, as far as, uh the video and then they they always try to they always try to take you out the picture and it's like no this uh, if it wasn't for her it wouldn't be a song so right. how can you take her out of the picture you know what i mean yeah yeah it, i mean yeah it doesn't need to revolve around me but yeah i keep the focus where it belongs on ptsd and domestic violence but yeah i agree with you uh, so it's like that that's that's the really really the frustrating part sometimes yeah um, deal, dealing with that uh, but other than, <laughs> other than that, like, yeah. you know, and they get, they get really angry when I uh, call you my little sister. They get pissed at that. <laughs> what is so, like, what? Why do they even care? <laughs> I don't know. Because I, I, I guess they, quote, unquote, they want me to be in, in love with you and a crazy freak fan. So if oh, I see I know. you. <laughs> yeah, well, too bad you don't fit there. You don't fit within their mold. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, we'll just keep on being important to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, on the other day, I had about uh, 10,000 mentions on Facebook. I'm going to say on Twitter. That means like... 10,000 mentions. Oh, with you? Your video? Well, that, it wasn't per se the video. It was just people like maybe cussing me out or something like that. Uh, yeah. Like, we. oh, the, you know what the funny thing is? You're going to die yeah. when you hear this. They created a a, a, a a what is it? What do you call it? A party? A party? Parody. Like, a parody. That's what you call it. Thank you. A parody oh, of the video. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, you should be flattered. It doesn't matter how bad it is. You should be totally flattered that somebody took the time. Yeah, I'm talking about within 24 hours of the video dropping, it was a parody out. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> That's crazy. These people have no life where they're really in love with you. <laughs> I, I, I doubt they're in love with me, so it's, it's more of long they don't have a life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I place my money there. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. So are you reading any, uh, any good books? Um, I just started 
started this book by Elizabeth Gilbert, one of her novels. Was good. Oh, I finished reading this book um, by um, Dan Brown called Inferno. It was so good. It was really good. Yeah. It's about, um, just kind of about how the um, population of the planet is getting, like, unsustainable. It's growing, multiplying exponentially. Yeah. And, um, you know, how eventually we're going to bring about our own extinction by yeah. procreating too much. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah, I was talking with somebody the other day about natural disasters, and they were kind of going on a tangent about natural disasters. <clears throat> and I was trying to tell them, I was like, listen, we need natural disasters because that's the Earth way of cleansing itself and moving things around when things are getting too right. full in other places. So at some point, although that they're natural disasters and they can, you know, they, they hurt a lot of people. It's, it's, it's for a reason. It's for the earth to cleanse itself because man has turned the earth up. You know? Yeah. It's not, natural disasters aren't like, aren't like, you know, freak accidents or anything. They just, they are nature. And that's what nature does. Yeah. And I think, I don't know, I think if the population weren't at 7 billion, there would be far less casualties. But, you know, it's sad. It is what it is. But, okay. yeah. So, so what, 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 what was your day like today? What you, what you had for breakfast? Anything good? Um, today I had this thing called potato hash, which is just like hash browns mixed in with um, bell peppers and onions, and I think it had some cheese or something in it. Um, pancakes, butter syrup. They gave us some cereal. They gave us some fruit. What else? There's something else. Oh, a little like hockey puck of sausage <laughs> that I didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the weekend breakfasts are kind of big. Oh, really? Um, during the weekday, yeah, like tomorrow it's biscuits and gravy, nothing exciting. But the next day it'll be like um, some kind of Mexican breakfast, something kind of good. So it varies. So, so, you, so, so you know what you're going to have for breakfast this upcoming week? Like they give yeah, you like they a schedule? Yeah, menu every week. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So it's kind of similar to when I, when I was in the hospital, how they would give me, like I would pick my food. The, like the day before, right. something like that. Yeah, it's, I guess you can compare it to hospital food because it's not bad; it's just not great. You know, except tonight it was great. That's rare. <laughs> <laughs> it was that rare. It was so good. <laughs> but usually it's like average, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I know they probably keep it. They probably give you a real small amount. Would they keep you under like twenty five hundred calories or something like that? They load. They try to load us up with carbs, so just so that we can all gain weight and be like, "Look, we're not starving." <laughs> I don't know. Wow. That's sweet. So yeah, like carbs, lots of carbs, potatoes, wow. pancakes, biscuits, gravy, carbs. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, carbs are my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it seems like the carbs hurt you. It seems, seems like you must you must work out a lot because you. you just, you still look pretty fit. Um, I don't know. I, no, I haven't really gained much weight. I think I put on like four pounds, I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> I stand up all day. I think that helps. So, yeah. One minute remaining. So we got one minute. Uh, well, I'm going to probably uh, book a visit to come see you probably in uh, probably February. So I can... Yeah, I should have my contact visits by then. So that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, I can give you a nice hug. You need one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Give my big bro a hug. Well, it's good to talk to you. It's good to talk to you too. Be safe. Yeah. And um, I'll see you next Thanks month. Thanks for everything. Anytime. All right. Bye -bye. All right, cool. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Have a good night.